This is the free motion quilting tutorial for Star Flower Flow. This design is being sponsored by the Ultimate Quilting Kit, a kit of the best three tools for free motion quilting on your home sewing machine. Check it out at freemotionquilt.com. Now let's get back to Star Flower Flow. This design is stitched by first coming up with a long wiggly line, then you're going to come and at the end you're going to create a star shape. So first you're going to create kind of a plus shape and then stitch an X over on top of that so that you get the star flower shape. Then you're going to simply travel stitch or simply echo that design and then travel stitch along the edge and come up with an echo. Now you're going to go in between each star flower um, ray, <laughs> lack of a better word, and you're going to stitch down in between them so that way it creates almost the look of petals. And then all you're going to do is just simply echo that uh, stem all the way back down to your starting line. Continue to echo this shape uh, all the way around, elongating those petals, making them nice and flowing. I have a little weird area right here, so I'm going to go on ahead and fill that in completely before continuing around the full design. And this helps because, you know, to get back over there would probably be a lot of work. So instead of continuing all the way around, I just went on ahead and filled that space. And so you can see it's just simply a matter of going around and echoing. All we're doing is simply creating the first shape, that first long wiggly line with the star on the end and then just simply echoing it. This is an echoing design so it's going to work generally in all areas of your quilt. I wouldn't try squishing it somewhere really tiny and tight but I think that this would look great around uh, appliques, I think this would look great around any piece block and it's really going to stand out and look beautiful on the surface of your quilt. It kind of reminds me almost like uh, snowflakes, so it might be a good idea on maybe a Christmas or holiday theme quilt. Here you can see I'm branching off again with my wiggly line and the star shape on the end. And then I'm just simply going to echo that line back to the beginning. And then travel stitch and echo all the way around. Now a similar design to this is Dandelion Puff, but I stitched that design kind of differently. I stitched that as a pivoting design, pivoting off the starting point and echoing around. The two d different designs are work almost the same, so really you could kind of interchange it. However you wanted to stitch this, you can go with it. There really are no rules. These are just guidelines. And really you just kind of need to fiddle with it and make it your own. Make it your own design and that way it will work and flow most evenly for you. So here's what it looks like whenever you finish Star Flower Flow. Are you looking for more free motion quilting designs? Check out freemotionquilt.com for over 250 more designs on free motion quilting.